education and unemployment have been two major problems facing the Muslims in this highly complex national landscape. Without modern education, no headway was possible to overcome the problem of unemployment. The two were intertwined. The Muslims, occupying high places in the government, left for Pakistan in a bulk, creating a vacuum for millions of the less privileged Muslims. Their proportion in the subordinate services, including the police, dipped low. Worse still, the Muslims as a community developed inferiority complex, paying for the guilt of others. The Aligarh Muslim University followed the Western model, even as Jamia Millia Islamia in Delhi represented synthesis. But they too catered to the elite, by and large, and it was only at a later stage that they were able to attract students from the lower middle classes. Muslim society is changing, but changing slowly. You know, it's not adopting American style or some other style. The idea is that there's a section of uh, Muslims who think that without education, without, uh, you know, coming into the mainstream of life, you know, they'll, they'll be left behind. Muslim community needs to concentrate more on education. But the thing is that the largest number of Muslims were craftsmen. And now that the crafts are dying, they will have to now look for education. Indeed, there was a large section of artisans in whose scheme acquiring of skilled labor took precedence over formal education. Here there are about 500 portiers who are in running position. At this time, the work of the work is in the work of the work. We have cut out the work of the work, flower set, cutouts, insulator, etc. ये सब चीजें बनाते हैं और कुछ तादाद में छोटी तादाद है वैसे वो का एक्सपोर्ट भी करते हैं वैसे यहाँ का जो पॉटीज का काम है वो बहुत पुराना है तकरीबन साढ़े चार सौ पांच सौ साल पुराना काम है उसको हमने यहाँ मॉडिफिकेशन करके न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी से उसके जरिए से इसको काफी मॉडिफिकेट किया है और � it is there in their in their souls, in their souls, an artisan, a weaver, a craftsman, a boatman, a I don't know, a, a garage mechanic, because by and large, nineteen five percent of Muslims are in the unorganized sector now. It's a it's a it's a tragedy, and you it realize it reflects simultaneously education, critically important. Talking of tradition one comes across a host of orphanages and welfare institutions of Muslims working for poor children. One such institution is Bachchoka Ghar in Darya Ganj, New Delhi, which has teaching facilities for needy children. This is a charitable institution which tries to protect and uplift primarily the orphans, but generally those from uprooted families. i